Shalom, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Kakadash, double honor to the elder apostles, elder bishops, and brothers from down a great millstone, and salutations to the whole field. Like this is your brother Rai Ban Yamian here to share another lesson. And the inspiration for this lesson, you know, came, you know, I was watching some, um, you know, TV uh, series and stuff, and one of the the advertisements that they have is, um, you know people forgetting their uh passwords and on there the solution to uh people having a problem of remembering their passwords is having um google chrome uh remember the password for every um uh login period that the you know that the person has you know what i'm saying and i see it so often i was like man you know what i mean i gotta do a, um you know a lesson and stuff on it you know and i kind of did some searching and stuff and i found this old article from about uh two years ago on tmc.net about why our password so difficult to remember you know and with the times that we are living in and prophecies that that is happening you know i mean i was thinking about soon you know uh, google chrome will no longer be used to help people remember those passwords soon you know with the the brain c hip and the mot be in your hand you know what i'm saying those things those devices would be used to uh help trigger those passwords at a time you know what i mean <laughs> like the flick of a switch you know what i mean so it's going to be very very um convenient you know so i'm gonna read this uh, article share screw um script here is to prove to prove my point in the lesson and close it out law willing you are defy this is your brother Rai Banyamian. so it says why are passwords so difficult to remember by contributing writer john torson it says how to reset your email password is one of the most searched for phrases on google news alert according to a recent study published on tech republic Surprisingly, less than half of Americans with email accounts use unique passwords. In fact, most email account owners also save their passwords on Google so that they don't have to enter the details every time they want to access their accounts. Now, this goes to show that they already have all you know your information because most people cannot remember multiple uh, username and passwords and it is stored in a cloud in um in google and this is why you know you have a lot of cases of um you know fraud and identity theft every year continue on it says uh why are passwords so hard to remember it says first you don't use a password often a study by rutgers university new brunswick show the human memory changes depending on how often you use something yeah, repetition uh if you have an online account you log into daily it's easy to remember its password by comparison passwords for accounts you rarely log into are easy to forget that's because your brain will register it as something it doesn't need to remember that being said, many online companies have been offering ways to save your password so that you don't have to remember them. You know what I mean? But with the with the aid of the uh, the brain C hip, um, that wouldn't be a problem, uh, according to Esau and his miracles. Uh, security wise, saving your passwords on Google is a risky move. Anyone who breaches your Google account can get hold of passwords to other important accounts second one is um too many accounts and passwords when you think about it nearly every online company has an option to create an account and secure it with your password you can't even have fun playing games playing online games or streaming movies or music without being asked to create an account too many passwords make it difficult to remember each one that's why many people reuse the same passwords security experts believe it's wrong to use one password on multiple accounts 
But what's the solution when there are too many passwords to remember? Using a password manager is a great decision. In fact, it's the recommended solution where you can't access an account without a password. Think of bank accounts, Facebook, Twitter, uh, News Alert, and Instagram. If you can't access a service without needing an account, it's an even better solution. An example is no account casinos. Find out more on this pay and play casino guide. Number three, you never log out. Yes, yeah, it's true. Number three, you never log out. For some, the best way to manage multiple passwords is to never log out of their accounts. They log into an account, say Facebook, News Alert, and click on the auto save feature. It sounds like a good idea to access your account seemingly without uh, entering a password. But as we mentioned earlier, failing to log out of your account exposes your account. Imagine leaving your Google Pay or PayPal account logged in at all times. If you ever lose your mobile device or laptop, someone could easily draw your funds. Now, some websites they have um, like times on it. If they don't see there's no activity, they'll log out. You know for you as a security feature uh, continuing on it says luckily security technology is advancing and it's becoming harder to completely wreck someone's lab because they lost their devices precisely most payment accounts like paypal and google pay have a two-factor auto authentication as such even if someone gets hold of your password they will need a code sent to your email address, phone, or an, an authenticator app to breach your account. Hacking all these accounts is difficult. Fourth point, it says you need a unique password for every account. Gone are the days when you could get away with a four-digit password. Back then, you could use your nickname, date of birth, or cell phone number as a password you could use the same password at multiple accounts without experiencing issues <coughs> excuse me then cybercrime exploded and online companies introduced new rules about password creation today a length text-based password isn't enough to earn you an online account you need to throw in a few digits and symbols to make it to make it strong and unique. Now it would be hard to remember one unique password at multiple online accounts, but you need a strong password for all your accounts for your accounts. If you have 20 passwords, which isn't impossible in today's world, remembering them can be a nightmare. Fifth point. You can save you save your password at the wrong place. One of the reasons people forget passwords is because they save them at the wrong places. 59% uh, of people save passwords in their memory according to research bit warden. But as we stated earlier, the brain is ter terrible at memorizing passwords unless you demonstrate the need. you need the password occasionally. Yeah, because they put it in the long term memory because the brain deal with short term and long term memory. Uh, use your password to access an account daily and your brain will memorize it because the repetition. Uh, stay a month without using a password and you will need to reset your password at some point. Memorizing aside, 33% of people save their passwords on paper. Ideally, uh, there's nothing wrong with storing your passwords on paper. Paper can't be hacked and you can store it safely. Unfortunately, you can also lose a paper. 
if it get damaged or you forget where you kept it. 28% of internet users save their password on computer documents. Most people can access computer documents seamlessly thanks to backups. But if your PC is hacked, someone can someone else can grab your passwords. Using a password manager ranks fourth on the list of ways people save their password. Interestingly, this is a recommended choice for security experts around the world. Six point, you can get another password. When you think about it, most people don't invest in securing their passwords because they can easily get another one. Imagine if there's no way to access your Netflix account if you get lost. If you lost it, like, yeah? uh, there would be fewer Netflix customers. What if you couldn't reset banking passwords? People would sue banks into extinction. To avoid annoying their customers, online companies devise ways to reset passwords. You can lose any password and don't get into panic mode. Unfortunately, the ease of changing passwords makes them reluctant to memorize them. They know they can reset their passwords and access their accounts again at any time. That takes me back to um, you know back in the day, um, you know before um, cell phones and stuff came out, where you could create a contact list. Most people that I know remember at least six to eight um, telephone numbers. You know, I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking long digits. <clears throat> you know. And they remember the names associated with uh with them too but now since you could you know put um you know different people name and number and address in a, a phone contact most people can't even remember three two or three the only one they would likely remember is just their uh, phone number if that you know uh to end the article off it says in the summary it says there's no doubt managing passwords is becoming difficult there are many online services that need password protection all of them ask you to set a strong password on the flip side experts say you shouldn't reuse your password this forces people to rely on their brains uh, paper and computer documents to store their passwords according to experts though the best way to remember your password is to use a password <coughs> manager and all those things would be um, cut out you know very soon right especially with the advent and use of um, the brain C hip and the green arise the MOTB that will be going in your uh, wrist and this is why the script that sell us to, to watch. So we read, um, you know, these articles and filter it um, to the script here. So this is Mark chapter 13 and 3 says, Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. It says, For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey. Who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and command the porter to watch so let's go into that word um porter all right so we know he left um, the servant this is a man who left a servant to take charge of the house right and he commanded them their duties all right let's see uh porter porter it says a watcher, a doorkeeper, a male or female janitor, gate warden that keep the door. It says a, a watcher, right? So the men of the Lord are also considered, um, you know, watchers. It says, watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight or at the cock crowing or in the morning. Unless come in suddenly, he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, 
and what I say unto you, I say unto all to watch. And this is what you know we are doing. You know, when we go into these you know articles and stuff, we watch and we blow the trumpet, we warn our people because these things are changing, you know, for convenience sake. It's going to be very convenient for a lot of people, and password is a big. Uh, part of people's daily lives, like the article said, you know, having different uh, streaming accounts, music, uh, banking, um, other various websites that people use for shopping, you know, Amazon, so on and so forth, right? It would be extremely convenient with the flick of a light switch, boom, and the idea of your your password is, you know, everything goes through with just a scan or with just a thought, you know what I'm saying? So, is going to come up with a lot of, um, you know, miracles, you know. And this is why, you know, we are not to be ignorant of these things. Uh, this is Sirach chapter 5 <laughs> and verse 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great or small matter. You know what I'm saying? Some people may look at it as, you know, as a light thing. You know, just to be able to remember, you know, the password, you know, since it's very um, convenient and it takes, you know, a longer amount of time to to reset a password and so on and so forth. So people are going to be blind um, to these things. You know what I mean? They're going to be easily enamored, you know what I mean, by the convenience of the technology that Esau would be rolling out. You know what I'm saying? And this is why the scripture says, you know, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time in the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 33 and verse 6 says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure all right so when we see in these things you know what I mean we are fearing the Lord and we also are instructing our people to fear the most high too because at the end of convenience is, is destruction. And that is what I'm going to call um, the title of this lesson. After convenience comes, you know, destruction. All right. So keep your eyes open. Watch, you know, keep your all ten toes in. Watch the uh, the apostles and elder apostles and brothers on down. All right. So you can get the, the news on the latest um, technology. Uh, events and prophecies that is coming into play. All right, so Lord willing, you know, you pray, you repent, and you seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with all your heart. All right, this is your brother Rai Banyamian, and I say Shalom.